And finally, we have the external assessment. Um, and it really does dominate a lot of your thoughts because all of your other units, starting from year 11 all the way through, have to prepare your students for their final examination. And the final examination can draw on content from across the course. Now, there are certain specific aspects that uh, it focuses on in a little bit more detail, but you need to be preparing your students for this examination. Now, have a look at the various requirements in there. It's going to be a two hour examination, plus they get uh, 15 minutes perusal. Then there'll be a thousand words in total or the equivalent. So some of it will be broken into multiple choice and generally there'll be 50 to 250 words for short response answers and 400 words or more for the extended response questions. So a lot of it is just multiple choice and very short answers, but some of it is going to be quite extended. And many of them will require students to interpret quite a bit of stimulus material. So it might be a whole lot of code or some databases. Um, so there's a lot for students to actually read and interpret and explore in order to be able to answer the questions. Now, in some ways, that's good in that they've got the material there to actually base their responses on. So it's not purely based upon their remembering material from the curriculum. Although there will be some of that, particularly around very specific things such as um, some design principles and stuff like that. There'll be certain things that you do have to make sure students know. But in terms of them being able to do things, a lot of the actual uh, material will be provided for them. So in terms of doing the SQL queries, um, they'll often be given material there that they can base them SQL queries on. Okay, so have a look at some of the um, example exams and some of the stimulus material that has been developed to help students with that and the marking guide for the exam. Now remembering you won't be marking it, but someone else will be marking it using these guides. Now, the other thing that we often, or you'll be doing with your students is doing mock exams, giving them past exams and getting them used to being doing the exam under exam conditions. And so they become familiar with the types of questions and how they have to respond under exam conditions. And you'll do those and prepare those. And depending upon how the school does it, it might do it on a whole school basis where everyone goes off and does their exams or their mock exams under really formal conditions. Or if not, you just do them in your classroom and you prepare the students for that. Now, of course, you've got to remember that the exams won't be the same um, year after year. And by looking at multiple exams, students will get that idea. But each year there'll be some new material introduced and some of it though may repeat from previous years. So that's just the nature of exams. So have a look at those examples again and we'll discuss the external exam and the internal exams and all the other aspects around the content of the curriculum in the tutorial.